Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you my update for my Pan That palette for this year. This year I have decided to work on a palette that was not necessarily part of a theme. And well, my first palette was not necessarily part of a theme, but I did bring in a second palette to do in collaboration with Paula's Better Together project idea that she had for the Fantastic Ladies Collab Pan That Palette theme voting time. When we were voting, she came up with this idea. And like I said, it's better together. It's basically where you pair two pan palettes together because they're better together. So I'm working on two palettes plus my BB Pan That Palette, which I have a new palette that I brought in at the beginning of this year. So I'm going to start with my first palette, which is the biggest one. It is by Anastasia Beverly Hills and it's the Norvina palette. Now I know the last time, well, not maybe not the last time, but previously, I tried cleaning this with a makeup wipe because you see how dirty this is. So we're just going to see what happens. Not bad. Much better. Hmm. And I'm also going to clean the inside. But first, let me show you what my palette looked like last month. Okay, and this is what my palette looks like now. Look at all those pans. <laughs> so based on the last picture, which I don't think I'm going to have room to throw up here, but maybe I will. I had pan in base and I had pan in this shade up here, which is drama. Before I do that, let me just clean this palette because it's making me crazy. So I'm grabbing my wipe and I'm not going to get a new clean one. I'm just going to use the one that I'm using the one that I have been using. I'm just wrapping it around the base of a jar. You can do it around a loose powder and I'm just going to put it flush up against the palette and wipe away. There we go. So much better. So much better. All right. We've back to regular scheduled programming. So I had pan and base and drama and since then I've had I have hit pan in four more shades. So we have this first shade, which is Dreamer. And then I hit pan in, wait, yeah, Celestial. I can't really see that well, Celestial. And then just recent pan is in Love, this pink matte. And then I did also hit pan in Passion. Now, I did kind of try to keep track of how many uses it took me to hit pan in the more recent ones. And I wrote it down in my notebook, so let me grab this. I've been really bad about making sure I'm keeping track of how many uses I have, so I'm take this all with a grain of salt, okay? I think Dreamer was eight uses. Drama ended up being, this one here, I'm sorry, not drama, base. This one ended up being around 15, 16 uses to hit pan. Uh, let's see, Love took around 13, and that's with a big fluffy brush most of the time. Passion took 16. And Celestial was about nine, because I don't think I've used that since I hit pan. So that kind of gives you an idea. And I, yeah, I think that's all of them. Hopefully. All right. Now for a couple of things, I am going to re repress base because it's getting difficult to get my brush in here and grab products. So I'm going to repress that one. And in terms of focus products, I'm not focusing on anything. I'm just using this how I want to use it. I'm just playing around. I still have not used summer. So I'll kind of go through what I think are my uses for this palette. You know, like I said, take it all with a grain of salt. So starting on the shimmer shades, Dreamer, I have 10 uses. Summer, I haven't used at all. Love, I have, I'm sorry, Wild Child, I've used four times. Rose Gold, this is one of my favorite shades in here. I've used nine times. Celestial, which is the purple, I've used nine. Dazzling, I've used six. This is the the matte, the neutral shade that I've probably used the most other than rose gold. And then Drama, I've used 19. Base, I've used 38. I pretty much use that one every single day. 
Soul, I, I've used 14. Incense, I've used 14. Love is 15. Volatile, I've just used eight times. Eccentric, I've used six, which is surprising to me. I can barely tell that I've used it. And then Passion is 20. So that gives you an idea of how many times I've used each shade. I am really enjoying this palette quite a bit. I did not use it today, which I probably should have, but I was playing. I did use Love today, but I didn't use anything else on this palette. Anyway, that's how this is looking. Now, I think my least favorite shade in here, surprisingly, is Wild Child. And I'm going to put that over a tacky base so you can see the performance. Actually, let's just use a wet wipe. Yeah, see, I just, I don't, I don't love it. It's pretty. I just need something a bit more. It's too satin for my preference. Not that I don't mind, I don't mind satins. But like this one is so much more impactful and unique. And even Celestial. If I, I just feel like that's more interesting. This is kind of a non-interesting shade. Now, maybe in the summer, it'd be nice in the inner corner. I totally just remembered I did not use an inner corner today, which I'm going to use it out of this palette. But yeah, I just, it may be a good inner corner in the summer, but right now I'm just, I'm not digging it too much. But I'm using it here and there. Before I move on to the Better Together palette, I did want to tell you about the weight of this guy. So last month it weighed 190.2 grams. Today it weighs 189.3 grams. So I used 0.9 grams in the last month and I've used a total of 2.2 grams of this palette, which is awesome. I think based on the weight that is listed on the back, I need to use like 0.83 grams per month. So I am ahead of schedule which will be great in case this is an overweight palette. <laughs> okay, moving on to my Better Together palette. I am working on the Viseart Midsummer palette here. This is a beautiful, beautiful palette. So let me show you a picture of what this one looked like last month. And this is what this one looks like now. So I don't have any pans, of course. I mean, I'm not surprised. It's a Viseart, let me fix this. It's a Viseart palette. And I find that these mats are a bit more difficult to use up. I mostly have focused on these two shades here. I did use this shade today, this nice, you know, burg not burgundy, but pink, bright pink shade. And I've been using this one a lot in my inner corner, which is actually what I'm going to use right now because I forgot to do an inner corner highlight. So hold on. Like, am I going to hit pan? I don't think so. I actually like to mix this shade right now with a shade that I frankened from my Wet n Wild palette, which is my Baby Pan That palette, but I'm not going to do it right now. But anyway, this is, I, I love this palette. It's so fun to play with. I love these first two shades quite a bit. Well, actually, I love all of them. There's only one that I'm kind of met about is this one because it has glitter, but I have used it, so... You know, it is what it is. I think I've probably used this one the most. And here's the deal. Like I've used these two way more than I've used a lot of the shades in the Norvina palette. I have probably used these two shades 30 times minimum. And you can barely, barely see a dip. You can see a dip in this one. But yeah, I mean, there's no pan in sight. Whereas it took me what? like 16 uses to hit pan in passion this mat and love it took me 13 uses so it just gives you a little bit of insight into how powdery these are compared to the viseart viseart reminds me of mac shadows where they're great for building and they will last you forever so the viseart palette Last month, it weighed 47.9 grams, and I included it with this packaging. Now it weighs 47.3 grams. So I used the same amount of product last month as I did this month, and that's 0.6 grams. So I've used a total of 1.2 grams in this palette. This 
palette says it's that it has uh let's see how much product eight grams total so i need to use around 0.67 grams a month so i'm a little bit behind the game but this is not really my 100 percent focus finish this year palette this one is so i need to make sure i'm hitting my goal on this one the busy art palette is more of a companion palette okay now moving on to my bb pan that palette I am working on the Wet n Wild Quad and Petalette. And this one, let me show you a picture of what this one looked like last month. And this is what this one is looking like this month. So you can see I have hit pan in the dark purple. And that one, it was not that hard actually to hit pan in because I do use that dark purple quite a bit. In fact, I've got it on the outer portion of my lid. Well, I did. I don't know if it's still there because you know I've had this makeup on all day. <laughs> but yeah, that's what this is looking like. I I've used, I actually have this pink shade in the inner part of my lid today. It's an okay shadow. It turned out really pretty with this look. Let me put it over here. But it does require some building and it's kind of sheer otherwise so it's okay this shade is really lovely i've been really focusing on love from the norvina palette so i haven't used this one that much but this wow this shadow is gorgeous this is what drew me to this palette this shade <gasps> so pretty so on this one i've only used like last okay so for this palette last month it weighed 22.6 grams it weighs 22.5 grams now, so I've only used 0.1 gram out of this. I also frankened a shadow. I used some of the ABH Loose Highlighter, and I can't remember what the shade was called, but I mixed that with this horrible shade. Horrible. I mean, okay, here I am digging my finger in here. I mean, it's, it's, it's terrible. So I mixed that together with a little bit of the pink and I came up with this, uh, Franken shadow and you can see I did hit pan in this. I don't think I had pan last month and yeah, this one is pretty, it's not great <laughs> just because, you know, there's a bunch, there's a loose highlighter, that white shade is kind of crummy. But, and it's a little bit too white. I think that's the other thing. It's a little bit too stark white. It makes me want to add some more color to it. So you can see how bright, and it's very brightening, but sometimes it's a little much. So I'm not 100% sure. I'm still using it here and there, and I actually like to mix that one with that Viseart shadow that I was showing you that I actually used in my inner corner today. I actually like doing that more than using this on its own so i don't know i don't know if i'm going to keep this but i still i'm using it here and there for sure anyway those are the updates to all of the palettes that i am panning i did not talk about the eyeshadow from the mac duo i have not used it i thought by putting it in my palette my magnetic palette that i would use it but that has not happened it's a lovely shade i don't know why i'm not using it there. I need to build a look with the Norvina palette around that shadow. I keep meaning to do that. But anyway, that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you are doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.